Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Mason. I'm Ronnie. And we are The Plug. And we've had, actually, Dr. Cecil on the show before. Link to that is in the description. But we brought him back for the mentor moments. Mentor moments. And yeah, Ronnie has the first question. <laughs> okay. I actually want to ask this. What was your educational experience like or your college life like? <laughs> well, uh, my college life after graduating from uh, high school here in Detroit and Martin Luther King, I went to Jackson State University in Jackson, Mississippi. Uh, a city slicker going all the way down to Mississippi. Um, my parents actually are graduates of Jackson State, so that's what took me down there. And my family is from there as well. You may see or hear a little bit of a southern accent a tad bit. I spent some time down there. However, it was an excellent experience for me. It was a great change up for me. Uh, once again, being a city person, somebody that's the hustle and bustle uh, here in the city, you guys probably are going through it right now. It's very materialistic, uh, a lot of those things, and going down south was a very slower pace, which helped me out tremendously. Uh, I played football down at Jackson State, so that helped me out as well uh, to ingratiate myself with the community and the environment, uh, but it was great. My major is biology of physical therapy, and uh, I tore my knee in high school, and I had to have surgery on my knee. And so I went to a physical therapist, and that kind of got me into the vein of, I want to do, I want to go into uh, physical therapy. And when I was going through college at the time, you didn't need a bachelor's to go to physical therapy. You just needed like 90 credit hours, but I was still playing football. So I was not about to, about to leave college to go pursue that. Upon graduating or close to graduation, I ran across a, a lady who uh, was a recruiter uh, from a chiropractic college and she was like, have you ever thought about being a chiropractor? I said, hmm, I had not, hadn't really heard of it until uh, I researched afterwards and I found that they were doctors that didn't uh, prescribe medicine. They helped people get healthier uh, naturally. And I said, that is exactly what I want to do. So 17 years later, here I am. Yeah. All right, the next question is, if you could go back in time and change a decision, what would it be and why? Who? what decision would I change? I don't know if I would change anything because everything I've done has kind of brought me to this point. I mean, I'm pretty sure there are some uh, things I could have done uh, differently, but I look at them as lessons. Yeah. You know, more so than um, being uh, mistakes, they were lessons, and that's how I looked at it. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't really change much because I feel like altering that would alter where I'm at right now. So I'm gonna keep things going. Yeah. Okay. What do you do for fun? That is a great question. I need to do more things for fun. You need to ask my wife. I need to do more things. Uh, but I love football. And so I, I stay close to uh, sports uh, for fun. I, I'm picking up golf, so mm. we'll see how that goes. I love jigsaw puzzles. <laughs> oh, gosh. I know you didn't have to see that coming, <laughs> but I love jigsaw puzzles. So. I feel like I knew that for some reason. Yeah, jigsaw puzzles. Is, if I had some free time of not doing anything, give me like a thousand piece jigsaw puzzle and I'll be okay yeah. in Sports Center. Yep. How has your mindset and values changed over the years and what caused these changes? Uh, <clears throat> my values have changed over the years. One, of having kids. Yeah. Um, growing up, I'm, I've gone from um, about myself and my progression until looking into my uh, family and my legacy and how does that look. So. I've kind of switched uh, from a self-preservation standpoint to uh, how do I and how can I put my family in the best position that I can. So my values have grown to 
uh, just one getting into the word, uh, knowing that I want to leave an inheritance to my children's children. children. So with that being said, I have to uh, maneuver a little bit differently. Uh, no longer just the okay. I want to go out and you know party and kick it with my friends. Nope, I gotta come home and watch the babies and put them to bed and you know get back up and do it again. So my values have changed uh, quite a bit. Um, what is one of the biggest challenges you faced, and what did you learn from it? Some of the biggest challenges I've faced. Uh, one of the biggest challenges I've faced, uh, I have a, uh, um, a daughter out of wedlock and that situation, she doesn't live in the state with me and that is very uh, challenging to not only just keep the uh, relationship but also to uh, keep in contact with the, uh, that whole dynamic has been uh, challenging um, for, for me. And then uh, getting married and having more kids, that whole dynamic of parenthood is a, a challenge. And it's a, uh, it's a fluid situation on a daily basis that you try to make sure that you're being the best that you can be. Okay. Yeah, uh, I would just like to ask like, how do you involve God in like your everyday life and stuff and your everyday lifestyle with being a chiropractor and having two kids of your own? Well, uh, uh, well, three kids. Three kids, yeah. Uh, yeah. But I would say always putting God first and always staying in the Word helps me out. That's a stress reliever for me. I repeat and I use the word as affirmations uh, for me. So when things get stressful or I'm having a quote unquote a, a stressful day or bad day, I recite uh, scriptures that I love that that will help me out. I'll say things like, my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches and glory. I read the word where it says, cast your cares unto the Lord. So. When I have to cast my cares into the Lord, it's telling them, telling God exactly what I'm feeling at that moment. And I'm saying, here you go, God, you can have it. So I just, I verbalize what I'm going through and I just, I have a uh, mental altar and I'm giving it all to God right there at the altar. And I take a woosah and I keep it moving. I also, if you ask me how my day is going, I'm going to always tell you it is great. I'm doing excellent because that is my aim. Yeah. So I plan and I seek and I speak things into existence. I'm big on speaking things into existence. I have a question. How is your childhood life? Obviously, you're a different age, but how is your childhood lifestyle different from your adult lifestyle? like the aspects, the surroundings, the areas, like different things like that? Well, growing up, I was a very, very active kid. Um, the term um, ADHD was not around when I was growing up. However, I'm pretty sure that they would try, have tried to label me as such uh, because what you see just sitting still right now, I couldn't sit still. I would keep moving. It's funny, I see myself and my son right now where he just keeps moving, he keeps moving, and I said he got it honestly. So I was always an active kid. I was always an outgoing kid. So that role is kind of still in me where I do that. I just has, have slowed down a little bit, uh, but I'm still an outgoing uh, person. Like I said, I played sports from like six or seven till 20, but 22, 23. So I just kept moving. And so right now, what I've done is not only slowed down, but I've gotten more uh, involved in different aspects of things, more so not just the physical part about it, just the mentorship part about things. Yeah. I feel like that like, really relates to like, almost like, I remember I used to have a problem like just sitting still and stuff back in like three years ago in fifth grade and stuff. And it was just, I look back now and I'm like, yeah, like that was like 
such a weird but like funny moment in my life and stuff. Yeah, it's it, it's 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 who you are, and it's not a bad thing. I think it gets such a bad rap. I think you just have to uh, harness it. I think you have to put it in the right direction. And go sports was an outlet for me. So if I couldn't sit still, put me in. I, I was in sports, every sport, and I just kept moving. Um, that kind of helped me with energy and helped me uh, tire me out a little bit. Helped my parents out. Uh, but it's it's a blessing now. Uh, this day and age. Uh, I stay fit because I stay, I keep moving. My occupation makes me move, so it's not a, a strain on me or anything like that. It's just what I've always done. I always kept moving, and so I'm keeping moving. Yeah, all right. Well, thank you so much for coming on to the show. We really appreciate you coming out here and being with us. Anytime. Yep, and uh, make sure you guys subscribe and comment and like and share it with all your friends, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. 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 City on my back, country boy, but I hang around city slickers.